Oh, dude, <laughs> that works. No way. So I've been 3D printing for just under a year now, and every time I hop on the internet, I'm surprised by the amount of things that I didn't know that you could 3D print even almost a year in. So I decided to make this video where I go over 11 items that I didn't know you could 3D print, and hopefully you didn't know you could 3D print either. So let's hop into today's video. And today's video is actually sponsored by Atom, which is actually a 3D printing AI software that is gonna help you out if you don't know how to 3D model yet. But let's start with number one, which is this 3D printable wallet. Okay, I did know that you could 3D print wallets. However, this one is really good. I didn't know you could print them this good. So this is one of those like flip up ones that you guys are probably used to seeing uh, for like travel or whatever. So if you just push this up right here, your uh, cards will pop out and then you can push this down push these cards right back down. And also it has a money clip on the back. So you can put any money. I'm gonna use this for my travels. I am probably gonna print this as something that maybe a little bit more durable. I just printed this out in uh, PLA and I used my uh, new Prusa Core 1, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But uh, I've used that to print out the majority of these items. But I just used PLA, pops out, you push this down, you can put your cards there. So number one is 3D printable wallets that actually work and that you'll actually potentially use. So that's number one, let's go to number two. Okay, so sticking along the lines of items that I knew you could 3D print, but just was like, yeah, not gonna happen, is actually number two, which is a phone holder. So I've always seen these, and obviously I do YouTube for, not a living, but eventually. Um, I obviously do YouTube, and I've always seen these and thought these were gimmicks, but let me show you how this one works and why this one actually is kinda awesome. Okay, so this is obviously for your phone and you can mount your phone just like this. So I have printed this out in PLA as well. Uh, sorry, no, I lied, PETG. So I used um, green PETG and then I used a uh, PLA for the screw just because I was having a hard time printing PETG. I always do because of the humidity in my area, but uh, you can mount this just like this and it adjusts so you can probably put a bigger phone, which if you have a bigger phone than this one, that's kind of crazy. But then there on the back, there is a adjustable knob that you can, look at that, look at that. And it holds your phone. So you adjust this knob and it tightens it. It allows you to loosen it up. Uh, and I really think that I just need to get this base a little bit smaller so I can actually fit this on my tripod. But if you just wanted to set that right there and start getting some videos, you could absolutely do that. And then it's actually designed for a tripod. The tripod that I have is just a little too small. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely be printing out these phone mounts, phone clips. I'm gonna pop the real name right here because I forget the actual like technical day for these, uh, but you can just 3D print these out and this one actually works. And side note, I am gonna be linking everything uh, that I printed out down below. So um, I do wanna talk about the Prusa Core 1. Again, I printed out a lot of these items on here and thank you to Prusa for sending this out. But let's talk about their Core 1 for a second because if you are looking for a new 3D printer, that might be one to take a look at. Okay, so this is Prusa's first fully enclosed Core X, uh, Core XY machine that you don't have to like kit out or build. For the longest time, I didn't truly understand why people loved Prusa so much. Me having a ton of different printers like uh, the Bamboo Lab printers. I now understand why people love Prusa so much. Let me talk about it. So this was just as easy to set up as any other printer. Taking it out of the box, besides the fact that you get gummy bears, is super simple. You also can just scan this right on your phone, you get the Prusa app on your phone. So it acts very similar to all the other printers that you're very much used to that I've talked about on this channel before. When it comes to the print quality as well, as you're gonna see in number three here, the print quality is just as good, if not a little better than all of the other printers that I have here. Now, the bed size is 250 by 220 by 270, or 270 this way. Not a huge fan of the smaller build plate, but I, for what I've been printing so far with it, I haven't had any complaints about it. Again, unboxing experience was super smooth. Print quality has been fantastic. And Prusa did send me over some of their filament. Look at their filament. So if you do want to check out the Core 1, it is going to be linked down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything along those lines. I just wanted to say, if you're interested in a very premium but nice 3D printer, definitely check out the, uh, the Prusa Core 1. So let's head over to number three because it's going to be 
pretty sweet if you don't know how to 3D model. So let's go to number three and then we'll move on to four. Let's go. Okay, so moving on to number three and inevitably at a certain point when you get a 3D printer, you're gonna get tired of 3D printing all the items that you find on like Maker World or printables or wherever you find your, uh, your STLs, you're gonna get tired of finding things. You're gonna wanna come up with your own ideas. And 3D modeling is definitely hard. I'm still learning it. Uh, it's just, it's harder than people think. Um, not to actually 3D model something, but to get to 3D model something that can then be 3D printed. So I'm actually gonna use today's video sponsor that we talked about, Adam, but I wouldn't, and, and I know most people normally click off when you say a video sponsor, but like actually pay attention to this because we're gonna be using this for the rest of the video, so don't click off. Uh, but Adam is a 3D modeling software that uses AI. Let me show you real quick. So if you look at Adam right here, okay, so Adam is a, like I said, an AI generated software that allows you to come up with any idea that you want and 3D model it for the most part. There's some limitations, obviously. There is the parametric side where you can 3D model like brackets and stuff like that. But I really wanna focus on the creative side of things. So obviously we are focusing on things that you, um, you know, can 3D print that you didn't know. So I'm actually gonna go over to one of these things that I've already done. So obviously RIP to Hulk Hogan, he just passed away. And I was talking to Adam earlier and just said, hey, create me a pen holder that has uh, Hulk Hogan's face sticking out the side. And this is what it came up with, which is so sick. So I'm gonna send this over to the printer and there's a couple of different things that you can choose. So like, obviously when you go to uh, new creation, there's a couple of different uh, ways that you can go about creating the 3D mesh. So when you go and like, I'm just gonna copy and paste this, pr this prompt one more time. And when you go here, you can actually change it from like standard, which it'll give you like a generic, it'll still look pretty good, but this one here is a little bit slower, the max quality. I recommend if you're gonna be 3D printing something, use this max quality. I'm gonna see if it'll print out the same thing, but you can see here when you go through and hit uh, mesh, you can see it'll like actually take some time and it takes like about three minutes as you can see here. But this tool is really cool because I've created some really cool uh, other items here. Actually, let me go over here. So like a Hulk Hogan bust, I was able to like send, I was able to send an image to it and then it was able to 3D render it. Actually, that was one that I didn't have internet on. Let me go to this one here. Like I was able to take a picture of this, like look at this. I was able to take this random picture on my phone and send it over and I was able to 3D model it for me. Uh, I was able to just say like, hey, uh, create me a, uh, a Hulk Hogan bust and look, like it made this and you can obviously go and 3D print this. So either way, I'm gonna send this over. Uh, I'm gonna send this pen holder over to the Prusa Core 1 and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and uh, send it over here. We're gonna get a time lapse of that going. I think I'm gonna print it in red because Hulk Hogan wear, wore a lot of red. So yeah, let's do, let's do red, let's go. So Prusa did send me over obviously the Core 1 as we talked about a little bit earlier, but they also sent me over some of their filament and I'm gonna be using the, or, yeah, I guess it's Prusa Mint, sorry. And uh, I'm gonna use the red because I think that will look pretty sick. So let's go ahead and get that up on there. Okay, so like I obviously scaled this down something significant, but like look at the level of detail that I got from the Prusa Core 1, but also Adam. I literally just said, hey, create me a, you know, a pencil holder with Hulk Hogan's face and that's literally what we got. That's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna come up with some other ideas for Adam to print, and then we're gonna get these printed as well. So let's move on to uh, number four. Okay, so for the fourth item that we're gonna use for Adam, I'm actually just gonna have it 3D render a trash can. Obviously, I know uh, that you guys know that you can 3D print trash cans, and number five will be something that you guys don't know. Uh, but number five, number four is going to be using Adam, and I'm just gonna have it create me a 3D printed trash can, or. A, a 3D mesh of a trash can. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, go on to number four, which is actually already 3D printed. Let me grab it real quick. 
It's a little trash can, and I'm gonna put this just right on my desk here, um, but it got all of the, these uh, designs here. I was able to change this section here. So Adam was able to obviously create me the Hulk Hogan uh, pencil holder, and then as well as make a nice little design for a little trash can. So definitely, um, it can do functional things as well outside of the fact that I can also, you know, put Hulk Hogan's face on pencil holder. So let's go into number five real quick. Okay, number four is hardware. And you're probably like, what are you talking about, Corey? It's not hard. What? Oh, <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you can print out screws and <laughs> um, different bolts and things along those lines. I guess this is technically a bolt, but if you have something even like this phone mount here, this was a bolt that I 3D printed. You can 3D print bolts and then you can get threaded items as well. And then you can print out different bolts to hold things down. The one thing that I saw on the hardware side of things that I thought was extremely valuable is you can actually print out these wall anchors. So for anyone who does any DIY projects, you know if you go into a wall or like a drywall, um, this is actually a drywall anchor. You can screw this in and then it will hold just as if you had a stud. If you're going to 3D print these, I would print this in more a way more durable uh, filament. I would do like ASA or even something like with nylon in it just to have that additional strength. I printed these out in uh, PLA with the Prusa just so I could show you guys, but I would absolutely, um, I would, it depends on what I'm putting, like if I'm just putting up a picture frame or something like that, I would definitely use these and just again, just print out with something a little bit more durable. But that's number five, let's move on to number six. Okay, number six are hangers. Yeah, you can 3D print hangers. That actually worked. I didn't know this. This one here adjusts out, it actually folds up so you can put it into um, your suitcase if you're traveling. I would imagine this is probably for travel, but you can print out these hangers if you don't really wanna run to Walmart, or whatever the case is. This just prints just like this. Look at that, and it works. Let me show you. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not taking my shirt off, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not taking my shirt off, but. <laughs> Not that kind of YouTube channel, but I do have this hoodie right here that if you are in a pinch or you're traveling and you need a hanger, look at that, it works. And you can hang it up. That's kind of sweet. Now, you can pair this one with our next item as well. So moving on to number seven. Okay, so number seven could also go into that travel accessory, but it's a door hanger for your hangers door hanger for your hangers. We're gonna say, yeah, that's it. Excuse me, buddy. So this right here goes on the door. You can see here, what you do is you take your hangers and you put it right there. Look at that. You can 3D print this. And you can do multiple, I'm not gonna go grab multiple hangers, but you can put multiple hangers on here and then you can stack all of your clothing. So if you are like, I, when I go to weddings and stuff, like I'll have my suit and my jacket and my pants and all that stuff, you can absolute suit, jack, suit, jack. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I have my suit, <laughs> I have a shirt and my pants. Uh, you can use this and then your spouse or whoever or whatever could also hang their stuff on there. So that's number seven, it's going on eight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this one feels a little sacrilegious because it was printed on the Prusa, but it's actually a mouse. So if you buy a Bamboo Lab printer or if you just go on their website, you can actually pick up uh, mice kit, mouse, mouse kits, mouse, mouse mice kits. My, that just sounds weird. <laughs> you can go online and buy a mouse. So I 3D printed one and it actually works. I was very surprised by it, but it's super responsive and the clicking is awesome. All right, so putting this together is a little bit, it's not troublesome. It takes a little bit uh, to get everything together. So you 3D print the hard shell and then you put the electronic components that are in here on or together and like it legit, it works. It, it's so, it's, it's wild. But you can see here, aha. Look at that. So yeah, uh, you can 3D print mice, mouses. Mouses? I don't know. Tell me down in the comment section. Is it mice, mice, or mouses? What is it? Thanks. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you soon. And while you're down there, also, if you want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be pretty fantastic. Uh, and if you want to like the video, that'd be pretty fantastic as well. 
helps out the algorithm. Appreciate you guys for watching this far. Uh, so let's move on to the next item that I didn't know that you could 3D print. Okay, so for the next one, I did technically know you could 3D print phone stands, but stay with me now, stay with me. You can 3D print ones that allow you to lay in bed and doom scroll. I'm not a fan of doom scrolling unless you're watching, you know, binge watching my content, then you're fine with doom scroll. But when you're laying down, you're always like laying down in this like weird angle. And then you always get attacked by dogs as well while you're laying down and can't shoot a YouTube video. Guys, move. But when you're like on your phone like this, you're always at like this weird angle. Guys, seriously, I'm trying to shoot a video. You're always at this weird angle here and we're just gonna, we're rolling with it. Now, they 3D printed this, or they 3D modeled this phone stand so it can go at a right, almost, I don't know what angle it is, but it goes like this, so when you're laying down, you can watch your phone and be on your pillow and not have to do like this thing where you drop your phone on your face multiple times, um, or you have a dog there who catches it mid drop, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, you can uh, 3D print yourself a stand so when you're laying in bed, it's at the perfect angle when you're watching YouTube. Going on to the next one. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna test this one out together because I'm not actually sure if this one's gonna work. But number 10 is actually this uh, 3D printed thumb brace. So you can find braces online, like if you jammed your thumb. We're gonna figure this one out together. So you print it out, but then you use like a heating gun to mold it to your hand. I'm not sure how that's gonna work because I don't want, Let's try it. So I got my heat gun here and we're gonna heat this up with our Wagner, that's loud. We're gonna heat this up with our Wagner heat gun here. We're gonna see if this works. All right, so it's starting to get, oh yeah. All right, so it got a little more, oh, dude, <laughs> that works. No way, that works. Okay, that's kind of sweet. Okay, so it actually works. All right, so it does work, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised by, but I just used this heat gun. You can see j very quickly it molded to my thumb and it can even be a little bit better. Uh, but then you can use like tape or something, or I saw like they use like a bungee cord or whatever it was. I clearly am a doctor, clearly. Uh, but they used uh, tape to like, Get the, but you can absolutely 3D print mesh for your hand. That's so cool. Okay, so that is kind of cool. You can 3D print that. I am going to uh, move on to the last one. Okay, for this next item, this is so sick. This is what's called a topographical map. So I decided to 3D print Manhattan, the skyline of Manhattan, but you can actually 3D print the city that you're from. So I'm originally from New York, but you can 3D print the city that you're from. There's actually a whole website. I'll leave it linked down below. You can go right on the website, grab your exact address. For obvious reasons, I didn't put my current location on here because it's the internet, but you can actually go right online uh, you can 3D mesh or model your specific area, and then you can like give it away as a Christmas gift, for, like to your spouse or anything along those lines, or if you just, you know, family member, that's pretty sweet. So the last one is, or the next one is the uh, topographical maps that you can 3D print. These are pretty sick. Definitely check them out in the link down below. On to the next one. Okay, as a bonus for you, for staying around this long, you can actually 3D print signs. Now, a lot of people know this, that you can 3D print signs, but I bought a little Govee light strip as well. And then I just put the Govee light strip. So this is called a light box, I guess. But then I printed my uh, Kobe, my favorite person in the world who, RIP Kobe. Uh, but he, he uh, I, I 3D printed this lamp or light box, light box in uh, memory of Kobe as well. It says legends never die. And it's kind of cool because you can, um, print any sign and there's a ton of different like light boxes you can just put led strips in it's extremely simple that you can print out and uh, put led strips in and get yourself a little lamp so um 
Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. And when we get there, we're going to have a large giveaway, a very large giveaway, like talking multiple rolls of filament and one or two 3D printers, not sure yet. But make sure you subscribed and, or you're subscribed. And as soon as we get really close to that uh, 25,000 subscriber mark, I'll go over exactly how you can get entered to win. A ton of people are going to win. So d definitely make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to check out how I built this multi-board right here, Check out this video right here. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.